and welcome to CNN Newsbreak. I am Sanya Freire and Justin D. bring you the latest, hottest, and, and most wanted, wanted Newsbreak this morning. morning. This is CNN Breaking News. And Justin, here is our breaking news. The United States and South Korea go head-to-head -head showdown on train. Live from Washington, D.C., we have Angelica Tan to report to you the latest happening. Thank you, Justin. President Donald Trump has threatened to withdraw the U.S. from Forest, which is the free trade agreement that has linked the two economies for nearly six years. Since the start of his term, President Trump has expressed strong disagreement towards trade deals, such to the point of making disparaging comments on public media. So, Angelica, can you elaborate more about the Forest trade agreement? Forrest was linked back to 2007, only come to force five years later. With Forrest, the eliminated tariffs, trade between both countries has soared to nearly hit $150 billion in 2016, making South Korea the sixth biggest U.S. trading partner. South Korea hasn't been keen in, in negotiating Forrest. However, it bowed down to U.S. pressure last year. Now, Angelica, can you tell us what's at stake? Yes, Sandra. As a matter of fact, President Trump overhauling trade deals that he claims are unfair to the U.S. means fulfilling a big campaign pledge. However, for Troy Standerone, a senior director at the Korea Economic Institute of America, a Washington-based think tank, says Trump's criticism of the South Korean deal is misguided. That's right, Angelica. Mr. Troy pointed out that under Chorus, the U.S. has seen substantial growth in the value of services that sells to South Korea. And after believing in the early years of the deal, the overall U.S. trade deficit with South Korea is now in decline. So with the overall U.S. trade deficit, what do you think is going to be the focus for Trump? According to Crystal Tan, an economist at research firm Capital Economics, automobiles make up a huge part of the U.S. trade deficit with South Korea, so they are likely to be a major focus point. She predicts the U.S. may try to get South Korea to relax stringent emission standards and push for more U.S.-made parts to be used in South Korean vehicles that are exported to the U.S. Live from Washington, D.C., this is Angelica Tan. Back to you, Justin and Sandra. So, thank you, Angelica. So, Sandra, from this, what can other U.S. partners expect? Um, Justin, countries around the world like Japan and Mexico, who are some of the U.S. main trade partners, will be watching the talks with the South Korea very closely. With this, Stagron says that Trump must show that these kinds of negotiation can be beneficial for the U.S. and its trade partners, which will mean making concessions. So with so many countries watching, what will happen to North Korea? Trade talks come at a delicate time for the Korean Peninsula, as tensions spike between the U.S. and North Korea with Kim Jong-un's nuclear weapons program. This agreement between the U.S. and South Korea over trade could strain the ties between allies and prompt other U.S. partners like Japan to question the commitment of the U.S. to security in the region. That's a wonderful insight, Sandra. Thank you. And once again, this is Sandra Freer and Justin Lee. That's, That's it for, for today's CNN Newsbreak. Break.